Hey guys, we're in Proverbs. Um, before we get there, I want to talk about something else, so let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, may your blessings of peace be upon everyone who watches these videos, Lord. Please help us understand the wisdom and knowledge today. Thank you so much for your grace, Lord, and your love, and your joy, and your peace, all that it that is found in you alone, Lord, not of anything in this world. Thank you so much, Lord, for dying on the cross for our sins and for your forgiveness and for your Holy Spirit, Lord. We love you so much and we pray and ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, first I'm going to read Philippians 4 in the New International Version and uh, verse 4. And it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. So, you know, since... June or uh, about June, like when I started reading the Bible, um, the Holy Spirit was fanning my uh, spark into a flame and a fire, you know, and I've been growing in the Lord every day. And then over Christmas, I didn't read online, obviously, or offline. And even though the Lord was telling me to read every day, multiple times a day, I didn't obey him and I didn't read him. And then um, I started watching Trailer Park Boys again, which is not a godly show by any means. And then on the way home, I started, I think, told you guys how I started swearing. It was out of like sadness and stress and anger, but I was saying the F word like every other word and stuff. And then, um, and then yesterday, especially, and happy new years, by the way. <laughs> um, yesterday, especially and the day before and like the day before that, I was, I needed the Lord really bad and I was trying to seek him and find him and he wasn't coming back to me and I felt like I was in zombie land again, like death, like I was so sad because I couldn't feel the Holy Spirit and um it was really awful, like living in purgatory or something. And so that's why it's so important to guard your heart and to keep yourself holy and pure because the Holy Spirit could leave you for, you know, like you left me and it was so awful. And I just felt like lost, like wandering around in the darkness without him. And, like, that's how I know that the Holy Spirit is given to us and we're chosen through grace alone because even though I was trying to find him, he was trying to teach me a lesson. Like, don't, don't be impure. Don't be, you know, don't act like the people of this world and partake in what they do and... And finally today, this morning, he came back to me and 
I was so happy and full of peace and joy again. And it was the greatest feeling in the world. And I just hope that you guys or the people that seek him. Like once again, I didn't know what I had. But when I didn't have him, I realized what I had and what I had lost for a couple days. And it was so awful. And so I guess I'm just trying to tell you my experiences so that uh, maybe you don't make the same mistakes I do. And, um, I, I just can't believe that I lived 37 years without him. I mean, it's no wonder that I was always trying to be not sober and, you know, it's clear to me now why I got addicted to painkillers and why I drank so much. And yes, it was from a traumatic childhood, but it was because I was living in darkness and I didn't have the Lord and now that I have the Holy Spirit and now that I have him again today I just nothing else everything's okay you know I, I trust him again and I don't know I guess I'm just saying to, to don't do what I did you know don't I don't know Anyway, so actually I'm going to leave it there and then I'll start a new video reading Proverbs and I'll put this video under um, obeying the Holy Spirit. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you again so much for blessing me with your grace today, blessing all of your chosen ones with your grace, Lord. Thank you that... The humble of heart who truly long for you and who truly seek you and want you, Lord. Thank you for blessing us with you. Lord, life is not worth living without you. It's clear to me now. And Lord, please touch everyone's hearts who hear this, Lord, and who long for you and want to know you more and want to go deeper with you and I pray, Lord, that these videos bring you glory and honor, and I pray that they help people and help people grow closer to you or come to know you for the first time. I don't know, Lord. It's You're the producer of these videos. I, I just make them. Thank you, Lord, that um, I don't have to worry about you know, what what you do with these videos, Lord, thank you that all we have to worry about is getting our stories out there and just obeying you, Lord. I'm so grateful for you, Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins and thank you for coming back to me and letting me come back to you and keeping me, Lord, and not forsaking me and ever again and Thank you for our gentle correction lessons that we need sometimes. Lord, I love you so much. And I pray and ask all these things in your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, God bless. I love you. I'll start a new video.